Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat and we are back in the world of pre-sequel, the Borderlands story. Alright. See if I can confuse the, the narrator. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to head back to Springs and we're going to turn in the grinder mission. And see what else we can do. It's not going to be a terribly long episode because I'm kind of running out of time. i got to go pick up my sons from school. Don't shoot at me, man. That was the best shot I've ever seen. Did you see that? It was amazing. Wow, my shooting is so amazing. There it is. I was, I was replaying on the PlayStation 4, I was replaying the um, the remastered edition of Borderlands 1. <laughs> I hit level 20 in like two hours. Oh, oh, goodbye. These things are worth a little bit of EXP. Shotgun is not very powerful. Whoa, 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 bro, whoa. Calm down. I'm walking here. I'm walking. Whoa. Not another one. You better not back up, bro. <laughs> Is it worth taking out the cars on foot? Yes. <clears throat> because they give you a bit more EXP than they would if you were in a moon zoomy yourself. Alright. And uh, I don't know if everybody watched my yesterday's episode, but if you have, then you know that I'll be moving the pre sequel to Sundays, which is old school Sundays. I'm going to move uh, pre sequel to Sundays because I'll be taking up the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday slot on my schedule with uh, Borderlands 3. So look forward to that. I can't wait to play that game. They better did a, they better have done a good job. That's all I gotta say to that. I have been doing everything I possibly can on YouTube or any social media. To try to stay away from Borderlands 3 spoilers, if you will. I don't wanna get spoiled on the game. I wanna experience it full on myself and not be like hey uh this is everything's pretty much known about the game before it releases and it's all online now <laughs> i hate that kind of stuff i hate it see i grew up in a time 80s and 90s when the only way you could ever find out about video games that you are looking forward to is if you find it in a magazine and it's like one little tiny article or nothing at all you just go to the store and you just see it. You Turbulent Hero, level 12, 6 thou buck. I don't have 6 thou buck. I'm gonna keep the Jericho and I'm gonna keep this job. This thing was sucky. I'm sorry. I'll keep that. And yep. yep. Nope. Nope. And nope. And I still have that dang thing and I still have the cradle. And I didn't do, I, I said in the last episode I was going to work on that one mission where you got to click, click the 50 guns and I didn't have time yesterday to do that. I will probably do that today or in the next couple of days. Hello, I keep you breathing, yes? I want to at least get it most of the way done and then turn it in when I'm like a few guns away. <laughs> that mission is long. And I still need to go back and turn in that mission for, or start the mission for that dude I met over heading towards Red Belly. There's a dude up there that I kind of left behind. I got them. Ooh, freeze his enemy solid. That was only got 12.5% chance of freeze. This looks pretty nice. 92 accuracy though. Eh. Yeah, let's buy it. I want something different. The shotgun is not as powerful as it needs to be. It's only level 5. As you see, it's level 5 when I'm level 13, so... Yeah. Weak as water. 
You need to keep you a little How much missions do I have? I got 29. This cost me uh 20. So let's go ahead and get that. I need to upgrade my uh my ammo. Let's see here. Let's see how accurate this puppy is. Let's say flat wall. About medium distance. Well, that's not bad. I like. But what about non-scoped? Oh, it's all over the place. A little bit of a, it's not extremely bad, tight spread, but... Haven't found anything good. My weapon machines will right. fix that for let's go back to Jainy's Springs. Hi, Jainy. Oh, hi, stranger. Follow me. I guess. Oh, I sold all my guns, dang it. I should have kept them. Can you walk any slower? <clears throat> See old Bessie over there? Slot the unassembler linkage and the recombiner matrix into her. Let's see if that does the trick. Yes! Looks like she's back from the dead, but we need to make sure. These babies can, if you're lucky, spit out nice shiny equipment, but you have to know what to put in them first. Kind of like a recipe. Put in any three weapons of the same quality and you might get back a weapon of a higher quality. Sweet, eh? I've got some old ones on the table over there. Use them. Old ones on the table. You've unlocked the grinder. Use the grinder to make new items out of your old unwanted ones. Try grinding different combinations of items together for different results. You could end up with something more valuable than what you started with. Grind items and moonstones to improve your chance of something rare. Perhaps even a coveted loonshine. Weapon. Those those uh, moon weapon I was talking about. All right, I guess I'll go pick up your white junk. Now feed them into the grinder. Let's see what she spits out. And oh, uh, that sounds kind of freaky. I like it. What'll happen? But uh, if you put in three different, like like three uh, assault rifles, then you'll most likely get an assault rifle back of a higher quality, or maybe not. So try to stay with the same gun types and the same rarity. All right. Three white weapons. And I don't know if these work. Mods, I think anything works. I guess. All right, you can do uh, E to do moonstones. It costs, it'll take all my moonstones. Or I could just grind. So I'm just going to grind, not use my nine moon moonstones. with a lot of recipes but unfortunately there's no instruction manual you'll just have to experiment though I do remember someone telling me using moonstones will ensure you always get the best possible items out of them well good luck and thanks for the help I guess oh there you go there's the the grinder the grinder Let's see if I can do this and get a good shot for my thumbnail. Like right in the middle here. There we go. There. Okay. So if I start collecting up guns, I will grind them here guns. and there. I'd like to get a whole bunch them. of purples. I'm that would be awesome. Money. How much? Uh, I've got no money, do I? It's not I got a little bit of money. Let's see if I can get some guns. <clears throat> I'd like to get three green or a skin. A skin I already own. Oh, here's a green. Let's see if I can get enough. Come on. Another skin. Pistol. Another pistol and a white rarity. And my money is shot. Man, what is up with the skins, man? Game. Wow, this game loves to give skins, doesn't it? I'm gonna give you mini, mini a skin. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Rocket launch with fire damage. I got a few greens, and let's see what we can make. Should I pick... Yeah, why not? Why'd I go down here? 
like open up boxes to see what else I can find. Maybe I can use those ten moonstones. Hey, there's this guy from the second game. Wait. In the second game, if you go to the uh, the bar at ooh, Overlook, the Zappers, I think, and there will be a teddy bear on a chair. And you say so you spin the teddy bear, and he'll he'll like throw up money. Not a lot, but a little bit. I can't remember if the teddy bear was in the uh, first game. I don't think he was. Or even the Tales from the Borderlands, which I've never played before, so... It's one I don't own. Let's check these boxes down here. See if I can get myself another gun. Yay! Let's fill up my inventory with cheap guns. Oh, new. Uh, another green. Let's see what I can make with them all. I can't remember if you if you're going to put moonstones on a weapon. How many is like the max the uh, grinder will take before you know? Because right now it said it took all of what I had on me, which it was nine at the time. What is the max though? <clears throat> all right, so let's put greens. I'm gonna mix it up with two pistols and that. And, uh, oh, okay, so it's still 9 even though I have 10. Should I... No, let's cue this. Black, black. What did I get? Oh, I got a blue. Huh. 97.7. Ooh, it's a... I might actually use that. Let's see what else I got here. I got a blue, blue. I do have purples. Hey, I got a rocket launcher in there. Can I? Do I have it? No. I do have this. So let's... You give me three, you get nothing, Come on. Give me something amazing. Fate turns in your favor, soldier. Level 10. Everything's coming out level 10. Rider technology is trademark protected. Alright, two. I got some white weapons here. I know I'm just spending too long here. Do I have another give sniper? Me three no. Items, soldier. Grind. Contingent sniper rifle. Hmm. Is that better than the other one I already have? This one? Jericho? Jericho 76. New. 95. Yeah. I'll keep the Jericho. I don't think I got anything else. I do have a couple of greens. And I got this blue, but I don't... Well, I got two blues and one green. Let's, let's, let's grind that with the moonstones. Two blues. Three blues. With... Oh, I can't moonstone it. Okay, so higher the rarity of the weapon, more moonstones it costs. Let's see if I can get me a purple out of this. Yep, I did. First firewall zoom, 92.1, melee and highly effective versus flush. Yay. Well, we got a purple out of it. Nothing too amazing, but level 9. Game. Game hates me. I told you the grinder hated me, I think, when I first talked about it. It's always hated me. Alright, got that one already unlocked. And I uh, didn't find enough shields, so let's go ahead and use up all these skins. Re oh. What? Okay. I guess they were the same. Alright, now what other mission? And like I said, I want to go back to that one area. There's that arms mission. Crisis Scar Peapot needs some help finding a lost friend at level 7. We're gonna go back to where Red Belly is. I, no, not where Red, where Red Belly is. It's the uh, oh, what is the name of that area? Where I had to do the moon zoomy to uh, take out uh, Deadlift. Where was that? Yay! Leap. Alright, so Triton Flats, Crisis Scar, yeah, no, 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 Serenity Wastes, 
Yes. Yes. Okay. I might have to do that jump again. No, no, that leads into Concordia. For some reason, I just can't remember anything over here. It's before, it's over there by Deadlift. That's where I need to go. <clears throat> Not that way, but this way. We. Do I have to, yeah, I have to go back this on this side. <clears throat> Give me all the muns. Hey, Krakens. Krakens. Oh, I can just go in there with the moon zoom, you know, can I? Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Accidents happen, man. Accidents happen. Or is this where that guy was? No, he was outside this place. May it may be Deadlift will be back. Sorry, I had to scratch all right in my mustache. I can grow some hellacious uh, facial hair. So this thing close to medium range is pretty good with this weapon. Not this time. Okay, these guys are simple. Hey, hey, calm it, calm. Hey, a white shield. I'll pick up these white weapons so I can put them in the grinder and see what I can get for. Hey, come here. <laughs> I don't. I can't remember if the uh, the level of every item you put in there will stay the level when it's done grinding. Like if I put level three items in there, will it still be a level three item when it's done? Don't you do. There's no point in checking these chests, but I'm gonna do it anyways because oh man. Yeah. We'll pick it up because I'm going to grind it. But it seems like the grinder right now is stuck at level 10, even though I'm level 13. It's just where the storyline has stopped. Which is seven to ten, uh, level seven set between seven to ten. So yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Deadlift is going to be there. Is that a weapon? Yeah, it was something. Yeah, without being zoomed in, this weapon doesn't do a lot of damage. Or it's just not very accurate. Okay, I spent 3,000 bucks on this, so it better be worth my time. Ow! Get my butt kicked, dude. This is a low four area and I'm getting my butt kicked. <laughs> don't stand near explosive barrels, man. I guess they never played the old games like Doom and whatnot. Yep, that's another pistol. I will pick that up. Because if uh, it's a good experiment, because I can't remember, you guys probably do yourselves, but I don't that the level will upgrade to closer to my level if you put low level gear in there or does it? that's the question that is the question of the decade cause if that's the way, if that's how it works then I can farm really low level gear cause I know where a lot of chests are or my name isn't not Deadlift Deadlift he drops a blue laser rifle, so hopefully I can use that to... What is that? What is that? We got alien sightings, guys. Alien sightings. <laughs> hey. Oh, he's dropping those. Okay. Hey, I'm in a blast. Hey, purple skin. 
And his junky rifle and a green gun. Another green gun. Jack here. Kill him out, Jack. Kill him out. Get rid of him. See if I can get on all these uh, jump heads. Oh, oh, I missed. It was close, though. And the world just got 25% more hands <laughs> Alright. Deadlift is actually putting up a bit of a fight, somehow. Low level dude, and he was putting up a fight. <clears throat> his shield, that's what the thing is. His shields are tough, but his health is, like, weak. And I didn't have any uh, electrical damaged weapons. Hey, look at all these green shoes. Maybe I can use these in the grinder. All this, too. I'll take it all. And I don't want to fill up my inventory, but I kind of want to at the same time. That's the problem. Decisions, decisions. Mm. Ow. 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 And another green gun. <laughs> Come on down. Supposed to stay down here so I can get to you. Wow. Best shooting ever. Smash. Zoom in. <laughs> money, money, money. Money. What did this guy come Ooh, BA. BA Crag. And BA dead. BA dead again. Underneath me, it's slain. Wow, there's a lot of them, weren't there? You know why? Because every time you take out a BA, they just keep making more and more. Now, if I go over... Well, I can't remember where that guy was. Was he over there, but no? Where was that dude at? Hmm. Maybe he was over there by... Down, blap, blap, blap. I don't know what that even means, blap, blap. For some reason, I can't remember where that dude is. That um, his, him and his Billy Bong. It's not here. Hmm. I was farming something out there, and I kept running past him. And I'm trying to remember. I thought it was here, but it's not. These kragans are not worth my time. Yeah, you guys follow me out here. like a million miles away thanks man appreciate that you're so awesome for throwing the oxygen away <clears throat> yo 
Yeah, it was somewhere where I was farming. But I can't remember where that was. There's a Muzumi thing here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I kept running into that, that dude and I just kept passing him off camera while I was farming something and now I just can't seem to find him. Barely. Barely made that jump. This game is a bit floaty. I think that's one of the uh, moonshine weapons or whatever it's called. Well, I'm gonna go back to the fast travel station. What the heck is that? Oh, oh like that looked different. Ow. Just a VA Kraken. Fast travel. Get a stingray. Go to stingray array. Alright, Triton Flats. Intelligence of Undiscover while you're here. Crisis scar. Holodrome. Serenity's waste. Maybe it's in here. I really can't remember. No. What the? Maybe it is here? Cause this is where it's heading towards Red Belly. I'll get off of here. Maybe it is. But I thought it was like right by the gate. Here I am just wasting an entire episode just looking for a specific thing. Yeah, it is here. It was towards Red Belly because there he's over here. Duh. Alright, so I'll switch over to something else. Let's try this pistol out here. Uh, it won't work against these guys though. I know before I end the episode, I do want to see if I can grind all the stuff I found, see what I get for it all. Yeah, the pistol's not gonna work because everything here is fire based. See? Melee will work though. Hey, get back here, you little dork. dork. Hey, good aid mod. Okay, pistol's not gonna work. Let's see. Yeah, I still got that junk. Uh, let's go back to shotgun. I'd love to have this thing at my level. The shotgun is actually not that bad. I like the accuracy of it. But having no uh, no uh, damage potential on it, <clears throat> except for level 5 and maybe to level 8, and then it's pretty much dead at that point. It would be kind of useless. So the best time to get this second or third playthrough and wait to do, well, you have to do that, so that's the main mission. Okay, grenade mod. Sweet. Sweet. Whoa. Oh, blue. Blues are good. I can get a higher, I can get a purple with blues. Alright, so this is worth 200 bucks. So, let's see here. Let's go through my junk here. Let's get rid of... Yes. I kind of want to keep as many greens as possible, so let's get rid of the whites. 
Open up some space. I want the green back. Oh, where'd it go? Right over here. I'll take this blue. Hey, bro. Peapot. Need some help finding a lost friend. Sorry, my best mate in the whole wide world's gone missing. And I could really use some help finding it. I him. Unless it was a her. No, no, it was definitely a him. Can't remember her name, though. No. Used to call her the Jolly Swag Man. He was always such a happy bloke. Always had a smile and a song for everyone. Terrible singer he was. Ah, my ears would bleed. He was always going to walk about across the moon and usually came back raving about some crazy thing or other. Can't tell you where he was last seen. If you could find her, he owes me a drink. The Jolly Swag Man. What, uh, the other dude was called a swag band too, the one that you meet in this little tent area with the little bugs and the bats over there by the uh, 2001 Space Odyssey Easter egg. Another green gun on the ground. Got him. Pick up the green. Watch out for the mushrooms. Ah, there she is. Looks like he's sleeping. Do you think he's sleeping? No, yeah, no, definitely dead. Right. Well, see if he left tonight. Check her pockets, will you? As you see here is that that's why I was trying to walk away from him. He's like one of the quietest NPCs in the game. And I was trying to walk away from him so the uh he would talk over the uh the walkie talkie or whatever it is. The echo net it which makes him louder so you can actually hear him better so yeah this is the one of the quietest NPCs in the game very hard very very hard to hear him oh, she left an echo maybe that'll tell us more about the sorry tale what do you reckon oh the things I've seen I've gone walk about all the way to Barago solitude I've seen an enormous giant billabong a giant empty billabong with bright purple light shooting out of it. And I heard the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it. I camped by it. And I sang as I watched as my billy boiled. Then up leapt the jumbuck. I grabbed him with glee and I shoved him in me tucker bag. But then I returned from the distant land and I went and I lost it camp not far from here. Blasted dragons attack me. Go find it, Peapot. Then you'll know I speak the truth. Check your echo. I'm plumb tuckered out. Reckon I might die now. <laughs> Not so jolly now, is he? Sounds like he got moonstruck, poor bugger. He didn't know what he was saying, just wandering around for days, losing his mind. I never heard of an empty billabong, and I definitely never heard of no jumbuck. A sad way for him to go. Still owing me a drink. I expect she'll get over it. Wonder where that tucker bag is. Then, have a look around. See if you can find it. Tucker bag. Poor raving lunatic. He never should have gone as far as Barago Solitude. No one ever comes back from there without being a few slices shorter of a life. I'd never bloody go. Yeah, that guy is very quiet. <laughs> nope. I know I can pick those up. I think I got the room for it, but I'd rather keep green or better. Mostly better. There's the Billy Bomb. Or the Tucker Bag. Kragans. Kill the Craig and Come 
get up here, man. So I can actually reach you. Haha, I got him when he was... Had his mouth to the ground. Was that a, uh, the movie Frozen reference? Disney movie? Hey, Queenstone. Nice. Got the Tucker bag. Time to head back. found this. The best mate in all the world sent it to me. It's a tucker bag. Says there's a jumbuck inside. <laughs> they don't even exist. A jumbuck? Looks like a kraken. Oh, oh it, it's a jumbuck. They do exist. I think it thinks I'm his mum. It's an idiot. I look nothing like it. Do you think that look, means there's like really a billabong somewhere out there too? A giant empty billabong with bright purple light shooting out of it with the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it? <laughs> Thanks for the help, though. I think it does exist because there's a secret hidden boss in this game. That's like a, uh, what is it called, uh, one of those uh, invincible enemies, and I think it does have purple lights coming out of it. It looks like one of these, but it's really big. I can't remember the name of it. It's been forever since I've seen it. I think I remember where you could uh, find it, though. But yeah. There he is. Okay. About $17. There is a giant purple hole with light shooting out of it. You reckon the little fella wants a drink? You know what the purple hole with light shooting out of it? He's talking about that. The Iridium Blight on Pandora. But there is a crack and I think he is got purple coming out of him and he's an invincible boss. Alright guys, well, didn't do too much in that episode. We did some grinding stuff. I wanted to do some grinding stuff on camera, but I don't think I'll be able to. I don't have the time. I gotta go and pick up my sons from the bus. <clears throat> Got the fatherly things to do. Not unless there's a fast travel station somewhere. I know there's one at the beginning over here. But look how slow everything is. It's gonna take forever to get there. see if I can remember I'm gonna look it up but I think I can't fight it right now but I have fought it before a long time ago a giant kraken that comes out of the lava and it's an invincible boss one of the secret hidden bosses in the game you have to jump in a, a, in a lava filled cave you have to jump just right land on a platform or something like that let's go back to Concordia real quick I might have a couple of minutes I can spare to make something before we end the episode. Wow, everybody's just glitched out on everything. Is yeah. good to go. I do have some blues. I got only two blues there? though. Let's go pistol. V3 item, soldier. Smiles on you, soldier. Hmm, 97.2 accuracy, but level 2, yeah. The level stays the same. So it doesn't even matter. So, collecting old weapons. 
So if you grind in all these, these are level threes to four or whatnot. And yeah, it stays the same level, so it doesn't even matter. Best result, soldier. Yep. I was hoping. Is good to go. What if you do? That's a level three, level me, seven. Yes. Problem with me falling asleep on you, man? Apparently so. Well, let's put in three of the blues. And I'll probably end the episode there. You lucked out, soldier. Not really, it's only level three. Okay. Well, guys, there you go. Now, I guess that answers that question of the does it scale to my level? And it doesn't. So, yay. I might hold on to that for a little bit longer. Oh, I got shields. Let's see if I got enough time to do shields. Yeah, I got a couple of minutes. Why would I put that legendary shield in there and just get, go to waste? All these shields are going to be low level though. So it doesn't even matter if I did this anyways. Yeah, level 4. Chance to drop a booster. Okay. Well, there you guys go. Well, that did answer that question. So that's been satisfied. It kind of sucks though. I'd rather have it scaled to my level, or close to my level. Alright guys, well, if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and join on up. Become part of the Mecat Nation today. And I'm looking at as many people as we can. Let's grow this channel, guys. And, oh, I forgot one little Easter egg. Apparently, just like uh, in the uh, first, uh, second game, you had uh, Michael Mamriel. When he passed away before the game was released, they immortalized him, uh, Gearbox immortalized him in the game. Well, apparently there was a girl. I think I don't, I don't know what what the girl her name is. I can't remember. But they made this box for her as a uh, I think it was a Make a Wish foundation. And the girl asked to have her, uh, something dedicated to her in the pre sequel, and this is what was dedicated to her. And this little box with skull on it. And when you open it, you get this graphic with skulls and hearts and cats. Oh, that's a little bear or something. Oh, there's a unicorn. And if you look inside, you pick up the stuff, and it says, I... Sayos? I can't really say this. Hands off. I guess that might be her name. There you guys go. Alright, guys, well, if you, uh, like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, make sure to hit that like button. To show your support, that like button means a lot to me, guys. It actually goes a long ways. Whoa. Yeah, that like button goes a lot a lot further than you think. It actually really greatly helps me out, so make sure to hit that. And after you hit the subscribe button, you will see a bell icon that up here. When you hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad. And when that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload, so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures of Papa Meerkat. All right, guys. Well, each and every one of you have an amazing day going on your own adventures, if that's in gaming or in real life. But make sure you have fun doing it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.